Hello everyone, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Meg. And today is exciting because I'm gonna be taking you guys around the garden with me. And we're gonna do a little bit of harvesting. I came out this morning and I was looking at everything. I actually, I was just on vacation for like five days and everything seemed fine when I left. And then when I came back, clearly the garden has just been taking off in those five short days I was gone. And there's a lot to harvest. Some of the things I've been waiting on forever are finally ready. We've got my potatoes my garlic there's a few heads of cabbages the berries are finally starting to come in so there's a few blackberries blueberries strawberries exciting um, some onions and there's like I'm sure I'll find some other things so I'm gonna take you guys along with me let's do some harvesting I'm in a really good mood because it's just always a great day when you're in the garden and you get to harvest and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Before I harvest, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how I grew the plant just so you know, so it can be a little bit of an educational video as well instead of just a harvest video. I'm a little nervous about the garlic and the potatoes. Hopefully they are a good harvest, but let's go. All right, so my potato patch is looking absolutely tragic. We've got the stems are falling over. Um, there actually might be a little bit of blight going on on some of these, so I just need to get them out. It doesn't matter what size they are at this point. Honestly, I like baby potatoes better than big potatoes, so I kind of hope that they're on the smaller side, but they're definitely ready. I see a potato poking out of the ground right here. It's actually got some green on it, so I'm not gonna be able to eat that whole potato, but they are ready to come out. I planted these potatoes back in February. I have a short form video on planting them if you'd like to see that. Potatoes are super easy. I just buy some seed potatoes. I make sure that the potatoes have an eye on them, like a little sprout. Before planting, I want at least one to two eyes per piece of potato. If you have a larger potato with multiple eyes, you can certainly cut it into chunks with one to two eyes each. Just when you cut it, you want to leave it out to dry and have that slice kind of callous over before you plant it so it doesn't rot. And I planted them about eight or nine inches deep. Potatoes like to be planted pretty deep. I planted two varieties of potatoes in this bed. We have a butter, I think it's butter ball. I think it's German butterball. It's one of the more like baby potato varieties. It's not a big potato because like I said, I like the, the smaller size potatoes anyway. And then I have a purple majesty variety and these are really cool because they're purple potatoes and they are just so beautiful. They have this dark, deep jewel tone to them and I love to make really cool things like purple mashed potatoes with them. Those, they take a few months to mature to size and really it kind of just depends on personal preference when you harvest them. You can either harvest them, like I said, when they're baby potatoes. You don't have to let them get to full maturity. That's how we get baby potatoes or you can let them go until there is just no green left on the plant and the vine has completely died back if you're looking for those big potatoes. I'm harvesting now because I'm kind of hoping for somewhere in between and I think that some of them have blight so I kind of just want to go ahead and get them out of the ground because I don't want that blight to reach the actual potato. To harvest, I like to just pull up the vine and get what potatoes I can that are on the vine, but some of them probably rip off during that process. So you are gonna have to go digging with a spade to get the rest. This is the white variety. I'm so sorry, I cannot remember the exact variety. I just know that it was like, I think it was like butter or something, I don't know. But this is that one, and then this is the purple majesty. These are really, really cool. They're so, dark. I'll have to cut into one so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm not super sure what I'm going to plant in here next. Maybe you guys can drop in the comments. Let me know what you think I should plant here next. I'm thinking maybe corn, maybe? So the next step with these potatoes, um, I'm not going to wash them off at all. I know that it's really tempting because they are dirty, but when you harvest potatoes, do not wash them unless you're about to immediately eat them. You can immediately eat them straight from the ground if you want but I want these to store a little bit, so I'm going to cure them. People can get really technical about curing and they take the temperature and you know all of this stuff. What I do is I just lay them out on this wire rack so airflow can get up above them, underneath them. They need a lot of airflow. I've had luck with my potatoes lasting for about three or so months after harvesting, but usually they don't even last that long because like I'm already thinking about 
the potato soup that I'm probably gonna make with these and the mashed potatoes and everything else. It's, it's not gonna last three months. Next, I am harvesting my garlic and this has been a long time waiting. I planted this last October. I usually plant my uh, garlic here in North Carolina on Halloween. It's kind of like a little tradition of mine. So this has been growing ever since Halloween. Garlic is really easy to grow. It's really easy to plant. It's just one of those things where you plant it and you literally forget it for about nine months. Yes, it takes as long as a human child to grow. There are two types of garlic. There's hard neck and there's soft neck. Hard neck is usually for colder climates and soft neck is for warmer climates. And here in North Carolina, I've been able to grow both varieties successfully. However, over the last couple of years, I found that soft neck is doing a lot better here because it is warming up a lot here as well. Like the temperatures are increasing. So I only planted soft neck this year and it kind of sucks because the hard neck is the one that produces the scapes. Unfortunately, soft neck doesn't produce scapes. So I did miss out on the scapes this year, but that's okay. This is all the garlic I just pulled. I got 50 whole bulbs. Look at that one. That is the biggest bulb of garlic I have ever grown in my life. I'm extremely impressed with this bulb of garlic. This is huge. It's it's like this, the, almost the size of my fist. That's crazy. My approach to curing garlic is the exact same as with the potatoes. They're probably gonna hang out with the potatoes on the same wire rack inside for a little bit. Curing garlic it usually takes like three to four weeks, some people do even up to six weeks. You just wanna make sure, you want to leave everything intact. So leave the leaves, the stem, everything. And you want this to t dry completely out. You want the garlic to dry out. You want it to be very papery and that's what's gonna kind of seal everything together and keep it from spoiling. With hard neck garlic, after it's cured, you can go ahead and cut off the stem about right here. But with the soft neck, the really cool thing you can do with the soft neck is you can braid them together, which is what I'm gonna be doing with all this garlic. I'm just gonna braid it all together and hang it. And then when I want to eat a piece, I just chop it off of the braid. I'm also gonna harvest the two cabbages that are in the front of this bed. As you can see, they're getting a little bit burnt. It is in the 90s here in North Carolina now. It's just too hot for cabbage, so. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest them before the actual cabbage heads get burnt. We don't want that. I'm gonna give the outer leaves to the chickens because they love it. There are also some turnips back in here that I'm going to grab as well. Last harvest of the day, I just harvested this little cup of mixed berries. We've got strawberries in here, blueberries, and blackberries. My strawberries are starting off really strong this year. I have an ever bearing variety and they're just now getting started. So there weren't too many strawberries in here, but I got a few, can't wait to eat them. My blueberries are some brand new blueberry bushes that I just planted in the fall. If you guys saw my epic video of how to grow blueberries in containers, those were the ones that I planted back in the fall and now they're giving me a bunch of really nice blueberries. And then lastly, I got some blackberries. I'm snacking on them right now. I love blackberries. A lot of people don't like blackberries, but I love them. It reminds me of childhood because I grew up on a farm that is quite literally being overtaken by blackberry bushes, by wild blackberries. And it just reminds me of my childhood. I would always get really excited to go and pick blackberries and we would just snack in like the cow pasture fields. I am done harvesting for today. I did see a few more things that I could have gotten like my onions and some faba beans, but I think I'm just gonna leave them to grow just a little bit longer because I have some recipes that I think I'm gonna make this week with those. So I'm just gonna wait until I'm ready to make those things. For some reason, I just have soup on my mind. I always have soup on my mind. I eat soup in the spring, summer, fall, winter, any day, any hour. I'm always down for soup. I love soup. So I'm thinking about potato soup with the potatoes. I'm thinking about some French onion soup with the onions and I'm sure I'll come up with something else. Potato and French onion soup with the garlic as well that I just harvested. <gasps> It's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be great. I think I had a great harvest today. I'm really happy with everything I got. I'm happy with the potatoes. I'm extremely happy with that garlic. That garlic looks beautiful. I'm happy with the turnips and the cabbage and the fruit. And I am just 
I'm, I'm in bliss that gardening season has officially begun. And I can't wait for the summer stuff to start coming in, like the peppers and the tomatoes and all of the other yummy stuff. I'm just excited. Thank you guys for coming along with me today on my harvesting adventure. I'm gonna be doing lots more videos like this throughout the summer. So give this video a like, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. I also post shortened versions of these harvest videos. They're a little bit longer on TikTok because they can be up to like 10 minutes. They're even shorter on Instagram and then they're even shorter on uh, YouTube shorts. I think I'm gonna go eat the rest of these berries as a snack and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.